What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. This is your first time tuning into the channel. Please consider subscribing because this is what we do here car audio tutorials, radar removals, QAs, all that type of stuff. Today, we're talking about these aftermarket window switches. Um, so, as some of you guys who've came from my other channel, JP's Audio 08, y'all know I have a 1997 Mercury Grand Marquis that I'm going to be building from scratch. Uh, I still got to do door panels and all that stuff, but as of right now, uh, I've disconnected the uh, window door module because I'm taking all those wires out of the door just like I did over here and that means I need to make a center console. So I want to put my window switches in the center console along with some other stuff. Uh, but when I bought these, I found out that this only came in a bag like this. Now it's from Install Bay. That's the model number IB174099. You get those from eBay or Amazon. I'll try to put those links in the description if I can find them. But uh, it doesn't come with any type of wiring instructions. So I found out what the wire was, uh, what the wires uh, go to, what they mean uh, due to uh, one of my friends down here in Trustville. So I'm going to let you know what they are and how you can wire this up. Uh, on the back you will see six prongs now you can get these window switches without the wires attached to it and you can just solder your own or use like little female connectors if you want uh, this just makes it a lot easier but let's go over what these wires actually mean so the two browns those are ground so you need to take those to chassis ground the red is 12 volts so you need to hook up 12 volt accessory to that now if you hook up constant to it that means you're going to be able to turn your windows up and down while the car's on or off but it's going to be drawing current so you need to hook this up to an accessory now this red with the blue stripe this is illumination so you can either not hook that up if you want to but if you do then your light will turn on like this now i have this hooked up to ignition so because i'm gonna have all my panels i want the lights on as soon as i turn the car on that's just my choice on how i want it so uh but if you guys don't want it hooked up like that you can hook this red with the blue stripe up to your dimmer switch or your light switch or illumination if you hook it up to your lights when you turn your lights on then that green light will actually come on if you hook it up to your uh illumination then when you turn your lights on that will come on but if you have a panel dimmer like this one does then that green light on the front on the front of that will actually illuminate and deluminate just like how your lights in your dash will would do me personally like i said i have these two twisted together so they're going to 12 volts ignition um these two are the grounds the two browns now these purple with the black they need to go directly to your window motor because this is what's going to switch it up and switch it down so what's happening is this is like a five wire uh uh, like a five wire uh, window switch. Basically you have two grounds, one goes up, one goes down, and then what's happening is when you press it down, it's shooting 12 volts to this one. When you press up, it's shooting 12 volts to this one. So that's how you're gonna have to wire these things up. So, as you can see, I have my, this is my motor wire that's actually going to my window motor here in the back. Uh, you have a red and you have a blue. Now, uh, I actually, shot 12 volts on each of these to see which one is going up and which one's going down if i ground the red and put 12 volts on the blue then it's going to go up if i ground the blue and put 12 volts on the red then it's going to go down so i have my the one that's at the bottom this purple with the black this one is for down so the purple with the black has to go to this red wire now this is just the color of what's on my door switch yours may be different but uh the one that's at the top is to go up so that has to go to the blue wire now i have my power probe right here and this is going to show you guys what uh power is on what i like this thing because you can press up for 12 volts press down for ground and the green will be ground and the red will be 12 volts so now we can see what's what so now we're going to i'm going to probe these so y'all can see what i got going on so we're going to probe that middle one which would be our red and you see that's 12 volts we're going to probe that red with the blue stripe on illumination and see we have 12 volts because i have it on ignition i just tie those two together when i hit this brown it should go brown when I hit that brown, it should go brown. 
Now, when I hit these two purples, they should go ground as well. They're gonna go ground until I actually hit that button. So now, let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna touch that top one. You see how I cut out? Yeah, so the reason it went from that from that from that noise to nothing is because when we pressed that button, it was shooting 12 volts to this. And then once it did that, it lets my window go up. Now press down, it shoots 12 volts to that uh purple with the black wire at the bottom and lets it go down. All right. So that's how you guys wire that thing up. Uh, one last time, just for reference, uh, the two browns, uh, they're gonna go to ground. That red is gonna, in the middle, I'm just doing it on this one because it's easier to see. So that red in the middle is gonna go to 12 volts accessory. That red with the blue stripe is gonna go to ignition or dimmer or lights or whatever you want. The two browns are gonna go to ground. The the purple with the black stripe at the top is going to go to what makes your window motor goes up and this one is going to go to the one on the bottom which makes your window motor goes down now uh but in order to find out what makes your window motor go up and down you need to put ground on one of those and then put power on the other one and then it's going to take it up and then swap it over and then you'll take it down whichever one you put power on that's the one that goes in that direction so like i said i put well let me just show you real quick all right guys now first of all i do not recommend doing this you need to be a little bit safer but i'm literally just doing this real quick to show you how you can find out what's positive and negative on your window motor uh like i said again i will want you to fuse this on the power when you do it but this is how uh basically i did it so uh i hooked one up to ground so i know this is the blue is going to make my window go up so uh, i hook one up to ground now i'm going to come in here with my probe and i'm going to shoot 12 volts and it's going to make my window go up once i hit that button see that so i shot at 12 volts now i understand that now i let's say i want to make it go down let's take that ground out and put it in the blue Again, please use a terminal. I'm just doing this real quick, strictly for the video. Uh, don't do this. So uh, we're gonna shoot 12 volts. And it's gonna make our window go down. Now, how would you do this if you don't have a power probe? Uh, I would definitely fuse a 12 volt source. You can go straight from the battery if you want to, and then put some terminals on the ends, kind of like these little spade terminals, and then stick one on one side, stick one on the other side, just tap it just a tad bit, and then you'll find out which one goes up and down. Uh, like I said, I'm not proud of this ground, but it's just something real quick just to show you guys basically how it needs to be done in order to figure out what goes up and what goes down. So uh, I'm not gonna make this video too long, I just want to basically let you guys know how to wire up these window switches um, If you want to tune in to the build of me actually rebuilding this car Then the link of my other channel will be in the description below to JP's Auto 08 Where I do a whole lot of base builds and stuff like that Other than that, this is your boy JP signing out If you found any value in this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff Until next time, this is your boy JP signing out